Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, this is IPv6 series and today we are going to understand EIGRP implementation in IPv6 network. So, most of the concept of IPv6 EIGRP is same like EIGRP IPv4 but there are few difference as well. So, first let me discuss the difference between EIGRP IPv4 and uh, EIGRP for IPv6. So if I will talk about EIGRP for IPv6, so it uses never link local address as next hop address, as next hop address, link local address. As you can see between router 1 and router 2, I am not running any IPv6 address. Just I will enable IPv6 on the interface, on the WAN interface we can say of routers like between router 1 and router 2 i will not configure any ipv6 address between router 2 and router 6 also i will not configure any ipv6 address but on the lan interface i will configure ip address you can see here in lan 1 let's say this is lan 1 in this in this lan i will uh, use network id 1002 colon db8 colon 0 colon 1 double colon slash 64 this is slash 64. This is, uh, you can say, uh, network, IPv6 network of LAN 1. This is IPv6 network of LAN 2. And this is IPv6 network of LAN 3. On these LANs, I have assigned one network. And between routers, I, 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 I will enable just IPv6. Okay. So, first thing is, let me write here, EIGRP. EIGRP for IPv6 uses the neighbor neighbors link local address link local address as next hop as next hop IP address getting my point so this is first thing about ipv6 for eig for ipv was uh, eigrp for ipv6 second thing is eigrp for ipv6 does not required neighbor to be in same subnet what i am saying let me write here eigrp eigrp for ip v6 does not does not required require neighbor to be neighbor to be in same subnet like if i will talk about eigrp for ipv4 so there is one condition if neighbors node belongs to same subnet then eigrp neighbors will not come up but in case of ipv6 there is no any you know requirement like that that neighbor should be in same subnet neighbor can be in same sub subnet also and neighbor can be in different subnet also this is second thing about eigrp ipv6 after that the third difference is multicast address eigrp for ipv4 uses 224.0.0.10 multicast address and eigrp for ipv6 uses multicast address equals ff02 double colon a this is the multicast address of eigrp in ipv6 rest things are same and there are some difference in the configuration so let me take you to the configuration part because we had discussed the theory part rest things like maximum hop and maximum path those are the same like ipv4 address right but one more thing is here you need to keep in mind that is in EIGRP for IPv6, we don't have a term like automatic summarization. So you don't need to run command no auto summary here as well. Okay. So these four are different in EIGRP for IPv6 as compared to EIGRP for IPv4. Okay. Done. Let me take you to configuration part. Here is you can see 
let me correct it this is slash 64 this is also slash 64 and here also this is slash 64 let me check the IP configuration on uh, routers first then I will configure EIGRP yes definitely configuration is little bit different from EIGRP uh, IPv4 so let me take access of routers here I have router 1 and on router number 1 first of all I am going to check IPv6 address so as you know what is command to check IPv6 address so IPv6 interface so IPv6 yes interface brief exclude unassign I can say so you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 which is my LAN interface I am running this IP address 200 1 uh, 2001 colon db8 colon 0 colon 1 double colon 10 on the LAN interface and on the WAN interface this is you can see link local address of fast ethernet 1 slash 0 of router 1 okay and so IPv6 protocol this is similar command like so IP protocol I am going to check so IPv6 protocol so you will run so IPv6 protocol command and here you, you can see I don't have configure any routing protocol for IPv6 okay before configuring IPv6 I am going to verify the IP on router number 2 and on router number 3 okay on this router so IPv6 interface brief exclude unassigned so here also you can see on LAN interface f0 slash 0 is LAN interface I am running this IP address 2001 double colon 2001 colon db8 colon 0 colon 2 double colon 10 and on the WAN interface like on f1 slash 0 this is link local address and on f2 slash 0 this is link local address that means I have just enabled the IPv6 on this interface if you will check so run interface f1 slash 0 so you can see on this interface just I have run this command IPv6 enable on one interface okay and in the same way on router number 3 also you can check the IP guys why I am taking everything slowly because I know you guys are new in IPv6 so that's why I am taking everything very slowly so IPv6 interface brief exclude unassigned on this router also you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 I have configure one uh, IP address that is 2001 colon db8 colon 0 colon 3 double colon 10 and this is link local address of fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and on WAN link you can see this is link local address of fast ethernet 1 slash 0 now I am going to configure EIGRP for IPv6 on router number 1 2 and 3 and one more thing as you know in EIGRP we have two modes classic mode and named mode so in IPv4 we had discussed two modes classic mode and name mode in IPv6 also I will show you what will be the configuration what will be the command for named mode and for classic mode first of all let me configure classic mode so on router number one I am going to run command IPv6 router EIGRP after that AS number let's say AS number what I want to use 100 so this is AS or 100 or 10 whatever AS number you want to use done hit enter see guys when I am running this command it's saying IPv6 routing not enable so before enabling IPv6 EIGRP or any other routing protocol in IPv6 first you have to enable IPv6 unicast routing on router so let me run the command IPv6 unicast routing okay this command will enable IPv6 unicast routing in this particular router and after that I can run command IPv6 router EIGRP 100 and here I am going to uh, define let's say router ID EIGRP router ID let's say 1.1.1 .1 .1. so this will become the router ID of EIGRP and here you can see I don't have any network command I don't have network command if I will I will put question mark over here you can see I have lots of option but I don't have any network command here 
I can use distribute list, I can use distance command, I can use default metric, I can use EIGRP, I can use maximum path, neighbor, metric, passive interface, redistribution, after that shutdown and summary metric, timer and variance. But I don't have network command. If you are thinking that what is inside the EIGRP, so here also you can see I don't have network command. So in case of IPv6, you will enable EIGRP on interface basis. With the help of this command, IPv6 router EIGRP, just I have defined router ID. And on the particular interface, let's say on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, I want to enable EIGRP over here. So I will run command IPv6 EIGRP and that AS number 100. Okay, this command will enable EIGRP AS number 100 on this particular interface. In the same way, I need to enable EIGRP for IPv6 on fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 also. So say IPv6 EIGRP AS number 100. Okay, so I have enabled EIGRP for IPv6 on two interfaces. How to verify it? This is the again question. So question, uh, answer is so IPv6. EIGRP interfaces. This command will show you EIGRP for IPv6 enabled interface. So EIGRP for IPv6 is enabled on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and on fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. This is the first verification command. Second command is I can run show IPv6 protocol also to verify which routing protocol I am running in IPv6. So you can see you are running EIGRP, IPv6 routing protocol is EIGRP S number 100 and by default it is using K1 and K3 value for metric calculation. Okay, router ID is 1.1.1. .1 okay, there is concept of topology base. Oh, now we are not going to discuss this. Later we will discuss this also. Okay, after that maximum path that it can support is 16. Maximum hop count that it can support is that is that is configured that note it can support it it can support up to 32 and 64 path maximum path after that maximum hop it can support up to 255 but configured maximum hop count is 255 by default variance is 1 and the e ipv6 eigrp enabled interfaces okay this is second troubleshooting command or verification command after that so IPv6 route EIGRP. So this command will show me the IPv6 route of EIGRP only. Okay. So these are three verification command. Now I am going to enable EIGRP on router number two. Once I will configure EIGRP on router number two, you will see neighborship will come up between router one and router two. So first of all, as I told you, you need to enable IPv6 unicast routing. After that, IPv6 router EIGRP S yes, number 100. And then we can define router ID here. EIGRP router ID 2.2.2.2. And we will enable EIGRP on interface basis. So let me select multiple interface through range command. Interface range F1 slash 0. F0 slash 0 and F2 slash 0. I am going to enable EIGRP on these all interface. So IPv6 EIGRP autonomous system number 100. Just wait for some time you can see there is neighborship. New adjacency come up on fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. Okay. And on router number 2 I can verify by running command so IPv6 EIGRP neighbor. So you can see who is neighbor. This is link local address of fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 of router 1. This is link local address of router 1 fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 which is connected with router 2. Getting my point? <clears throat> and so IPv6 EIGRP interfaces. This is one command to check EIGRP, IPv6 EIGRP enabled interface and so IPv6 protocol is the command to check IPv6 routing protocol. Done. After that let me take you to R3. On R3 also I am going to configure IPv6 first IPv6 unicast 
routing and ipv6 router eagrp s yes, number 100 here i can define router id eagrp router id 3.3.3.3 after that exit interface range f0/0 and f1/0 ipv6 eagrp that's it ipv6 eagrp s yes, number 100 that's it soon eagrp university will come here also you can see and now if you want to verify the routing table so ipv6 route eagrp sorry so ipv6 route eagrp so you can see this router router 3 have learned this network 2001 db8 zero colon 1 slash 64 which is running on router number 1 this is lan of router 1 and this network is reachable via this address and this is link local address of router 2 fast ethernet 2 slash 0 of this interface if you want to verify now i can show you also if you want to see that really is it look back sorry link local address of fast ethernet 2 slash 0 of router 2 so so ipv6 interface i can say brief and exclude unassign so you can see fast ethernet 2 slash 0 link local address in the last you can see value is 38 getting my point here also you can see in the last value is 34 38 so f f e 80 f e 80 c 802 1a f f 1a f f after that f e b b f e b b and 38 so next hop ip address will be always link local address of uh, next hop getting my point and now if you want to check the reachability connectivity between lan to lan so i am going to copy ip address of router 3 so ip or directly i can do what from router number 1 i can ping ping 2001 colon db8 colon 0 colon 3 double colon 10 and source i am going to say 2001 which is my lan interface ip address db8 after that colon 0 colon 1 double colon 10 so you can see ping is working that means end to end reachability is there okay and in the same way i can ping 2 also to the lan on router number 2 so this is con ipv6 configuration of eagrp it is very simple yes or no it is very simple we have discussed verification command as well guys rest things are same like ipv4 rest things are same like ipv4 so i don't think that we need to discuss more about eagrp for Learn ipv6 something from this video guys please hit on like button and please let me know in comment section because your comments your likes are motivating me to make more videos that's all for today we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye